Hello my friends. If you want to properly erase or format your drive and reset it to factory settings, then this guide will show you how to do it easily in Windows. This method will work for you whether it is a hard drive, any SSD, or any external drive. Before you proceed, you should know that this method will erase all data on the drive, so make sure there is nothing on it that you need. Okay, connect the drive to your PC if you haven't already, and open the this PC window. Pay attention to the drive letter and its size, in my case we see drive C and drive D, and I will reset drive D, but if you can't find your drive to format on your PC, then no problem. Right click on the Windows icon, and select, Disk Management. Here we can see drives, which may have multiple partitions or drive letters on each, but it will still be one physical drive. Okay, you need to figure out which drive you want to reset. The drive with Windows is usually assigned the letter C, here it is drive number 1, and I know its size. With a USB drive, it is easy, connect it to your computer and it will appear in the this PC window. You can also find a disk by its capacity, try right clicking on the disk and clicking properties to get a description of the disk. It should have the brand name and model. Now that I know which disk I'm going to reset, right click on the Windows icon, and select, Terminal as Administrator. Type command disk part and press enter to check that you're selecting the correct disk write list disk enter this is my disk size and this is my disk number zero now type select disk and its number press enter to reset it to factory settings and delete all partitions and data type, clean. Press, enter. Disk cleaned, right exit. Enter. You now have an uninitialized and unformatted disk, it won't show up on this PC in Windows, and you'll need to initialize and format it first. To do this, go back to disk management, and here we see the unallocated space. Now right click on the disk, and select, Initialize. OK. Then right click on the unallocated space, and select, New Simple Volume. Next. Here you can change the volume label, I'll leave the letter D. Next. You can also change the file system, if you want it to be different from the default, and name the disk as you wish. Next. Finish. That's it, the disk has been reset to factory settings, disk management can be closed, and now in the this PC window we see the D drive, as if we just bought it in the store. This was a quick and easy way to reset the disk to factory settings, and we didn't miss a single detail. Just select the disk and the location for the disk and use the command in the command prompt, clean, as quick and easy as it gets. Good luck!